Hi friends, John Willard here. A special show today about Ruby and the Rain Crow. And please remember the subscribe button down below for CNA TV. You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, my mother, Ruby, grew up in the country several years as a child. She lived in an old chicken house during the Depression. A farmer told her dad they could live in the chicken house, but they would have to clean it up. Homeless during the Depression they were thankful to have it, living mostly on pumpkin that neighbors gave her parents. Mm -mm. Getting a few chickens later to have some eggs, that was a real luxury. When my mother, Ruby, married, things hadn't improved that much. Ruby had three girls and one boy. She used to say they were the best crop she ever raised. <laughs> Ruby remembers lying in bed at night, getting very cold as the coal stove lost its battle with the winter cold. Mm. I often went to school in a one-room schoolhouse. Ruby had a straightforward parenting philosophy. Hard work, good food, and lots of love. Church on Sundays. She always had the good sense to live beyond the range of most television stations. So the reception was pitiful. <laughs> We watched Gunsmoke on Saturday nights. It was my job to keep getting up, adjusting those rabbit ears, trying to get better reception. A little of that went a long way. Oh my, the thousands of memories from living on the old dilapidated farmhouse on the hill. One day, Ruby called me to the window. Listen to that, she said. I listened and heard a bird give five short woos. What is it, I asked. A rain crow, she said. You hear them before a big rain. I've never seen one but I've heard them plenty of times. That was a new one on me, but I wasn't about to argue with Ruby. If she says there are birds that call out five woos before a big rain, birds she never laid eyes on, the smart money is on Ruby. It rained two hours later. <laughs> John tells how Jesus said, Blessed are those who have not seen, yet believe. So John told this story to reassure you can believe in something you've never seen. Kind of like Ruby believes in rain crows. We're all Missourians at heart, inclined toward the show me, except every now and then we bump into rain crows where seeing doesn't come easy. Then the only thing to do is listen for the still, small voice 
and the five short woos to know there's substance beyond the scene. Sometimes the most real things are things we cannot see. Ruby was my mother and let me share mother's call. I think of the times when night draws nigh of an old farmhouse on the hill of a yard all wide and blossom star where the children played at will. And when the deep night at last came down, hushing the merry den, mother would look all around and ask, are all the children in? Tis many and many a year since then. The old house on the hill no longer echoes childish feet and the yard is still, so still. But I see it all as the shadows creep and though many the years have been since then I can hear my mother ask, are all the children in? I wonder if when the shadows fall on the last short earthly day, when we say goodbye to the world outside, all tired of our childish play, when we meet our friends again, who have died and saved from sin. Will mother call from the old house and ask, are all the children in? Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. My final thought, we can learn these things from our dog to listen without judgment, to love unconditionally, to guard faithfully the interest of those who care for you, and to be faithful unto death. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.